people, they see a franchise concept, or they go to a, a business, they see that it's busy, or they think that would be really cool it's going to affect me. How's that going to affect my family? How's that going to affect my stress level? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to bring you another video. My name is Tarek Johnson, and if you're new to the channel, I built a multi-million dollar franchise business, owning locations in multiple states. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the five components to finding the right franchise. How do you make sure that you find the right franchise for you? I have so many people that reach out to me on my website and drop me comments because of all the franchise videos that I have out there. And one of the most common themes are, how do I find the right franchise for me? Or I found the franchise, but I'm not sure if I should pull the trigger. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's jump in. All right, so for those of you who are returning to my channel, I got something new. Check it out, pretty cool, right? I was waiting to do that on camera. I thought that would be pretty fun. Dream Life Mastery, I'll talk about at some point what that means, but overall, I just I want people to leave, live their dream life, whatever that means to you, and uh, you're probably looking into owning a franchise because you wanna live a better life. You want to take control uh, over your financial future. You wanna be able to maybe make more money, provide for your family, uh, create generational wealth, have more freedom and flexibility to spend time with your family, like your kids. I know that you know my wife and I, we have a two and a half year old son and that's super important to us. So whatever it is, uh, I wanna help you live your dream life. But anyways, let's get into the five components to finding the right franchise. Number one is lifestyle. Now, what do I mean by lifestyle? So when you're thinking about owning a franchise, here's what happens. A lot of people, they see a franchise concept or they go to a, a business, they see that it's busy or they think that would be really cool to own that franchise. That is a terrible reason to get into a franchise. I actually made a whole video called uh, the three biggest mistakes to avoid when buying a franchise. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Uh, but one of the most common things is that people, you enjoy being a customer, right? And then you think, well, that'd be cool to own that franchise. It's terrible because when you think about that first component of lifestyle, think about how that specific franchise will impact your lifestyle. As an example, my wife and I opened a juice bar franchise. We wind up having two juice bar franchises. And that's a business that's open pretty much 364 days a year. I think there was maybe one or two days. Okay, we were closed on Christmas and Thanksgiving. So 363 days a year, a year we were open. Think about how that sort of business would impact your lifestyle. Being open pretty much Monday through Sunday every day, uh, generally about 12 hours a day. Now, we weren't actively working day to day in the business, but we have various roles in the company. And so when you're looking at a franchise, think about, well, that business, if I'm owning and working in that business, how's that going to affect me? How's that going to affect my family? How's that going to affect my stress levels? So it's really important to look at that business and really put yourself in the shoes of figuring out how that's gonna impact your lifestyle. There are so many ways to do that uh, by talking to existing franchisees, talking to the franchisor, thinking about how you plan to operate the business, but that is component number one for you to think about. Now we're gonna hop to number two, which is skill sets. So in really thinking about what the right franchise is for you, you've gotta think about what your current skill sets are and what you're good at. Now before we talk into that and jump to what that looks like, um, over 1,500 people have already downloaded my seven-step blueprint to business profits in 60 days. After my wife and I had invested over $300,000 to get our franchise open, I went up writing this 28-page uh, ebook. It's completely free. You can get it at my website. I encourage you to go do that. I have people all the time that reach out to me that talk about what step they're in and, and how that's helping them navigate their journey in a business that they already have or one that they're starting. So go to tarchonson.com, check that out, completely free. And, uh, and send me an email and let me know uh, how you like it and, and what impact it's having on you. But now let's jump back to skill sets. One of the key components in finding the right franchise for you is thinking and doing an audit of what your skill sets are. 
So think about that for a second. Are you naturally more introverted or are you naturally more extroverted? Um, do you recharge your batteries being by yourself or being around other people? Well, if that's the case, then you probably don't want to be in a business that involves you having to go out and sell and be out in the community a lot if you're more introverted. Or what is your natural strengths and skill sets? You're more analytical if you come from an engineering background or you're more creative in your thought processes. So it's really important to find uh, a franchise business that aligns with your skill sets. Now, if you find a franchise that doesn't align with your skill sets, you can always fit yourself in a certain role in the business and outsource and hire someone who has a skill set that you're missing. So, you know, it all depends. Again, another example here is when we had our juice bar businesses. We still have one right now as of the recording of this video. But when we had our first location that we had built from scratch out in California, me, I'm an operations guy, highly analytical, great at pretending to be an extrovert. I fool a lot of people. Uh, I tend to be most comfortable by myself. But I like operations and systems and processes, making things work more efficiently. And so that's one of the things that I was focused on the business. When we would have events at the store, sometimes we would do quarterly promotions or big events. The idea of going passing out flyers at other shopping centers uh, or in parking lots, it literally would give me anxiety, the thought of doing something like that. So my wife, who is the social butterfly, she would take on that role. So when you're looking at a franchise, make an audit though of what exactly your skill sets are, your strengths are, and what you don't like, and then match that up with the franchise opportunity. All right, let's jump to number three, which is belief. We're on number three out of five. Make sure you stick around to the end because the last one is really, really interesting and it's gonna be really important for you, so don't miss out on it. So number three being belief. What do I mean by belief? When you are choosing a franchise, it's crazy important that you have belief in the company in the vision, in the products, in the services, and in yourself. Um, a really important point here is don't just choose a franchise because you think you can make a lot of money. And I'll actually talk about this point in number five. It, it That can depend, but it's usually a recipe for disaster. Because here's the thing with owning a business, and here's the thing with really starting any venture is that sometimes it, it takes a little bit for it to get up and running. It just depends on the business. Some people are successful right away and profitable right away, some people aren't. And if it takes you time, you don't have belief, you don't believe in the company, you don't believe in the vision, the products, the services, we're like excited about it and really believe that you're doing good, then it's gonna, you're gonna create massive stress and challenges for yourself going through that beginning process to get to the point where it may seem glamorous. You hear it all the time, people that started something just because they had this tremendous belief in their idea or the help or the impact that it was gonna have in their community, or they just really enjoyed it, and then they became successful, but they endured for months or years or decades uh, not being successful financially or not making money. So if you're just looking at, hey, uh, as an example, actually, I had someone reach out to me. There's a, a cookie franchise, a new cookie franchise. And uh, this individual is like, man, the, the, the line was out the door and it seemed so popular and, and I think I could do really well with it. And I'm like, yeah, but one, it's probably gonna be open pretty much seven days a week, 12 hours a day, right? Uh, we told that story in the beginning of this video. And uh, what happens if you start out with one location, you gotta be in there washing dishes. You gotta be in there making dough or cookies. Or is, is that really what you wanna do? Are you willing to do that for a period of time before the business gets up and running and successful? Maybe not. So belief is very important. If, uh, if you overall like don't have like much of a belief about the product or service, then don't do it. Just save yourself and everyone else the trouble and especially someone else who may have belief in the company or service. All right, number four is money. So it's a really important point. Number one, how much money do you need to make with the franchise? I'm guessing that depends on your situation. Is this gonna be something you do on the side and keep your job? Or are you going to Quit your job and go all in from day one. There, there's so many different 
nuances and, and ways to own a franchise. And uh, I'll leave another video below, which is the seven different types of franchise ownership and, and kind of how that works, depending upon what your objectives are. But how much money do you need to make, right? Just to make sure that you're maintaining the same quality of life. How much money do you want to make, right? So what's the bottom line that you need to make? And then what's the most ideal situation that you want to make? And then another important question about money and finding the right franchise for yourself is how much money do you have? And how much would it take to get the franchise open? In our case, our franchise ranged between, I think, $240,000 to $350,000 to get open in the FDD, the Franchise Disclosure Document at that time. It took us a little bit over $300,000 to get that business open. So, and the franchisor had a net worth requirement of $100,000 liquid, $300,000 net worth. So at the end of the day, if you've only got $50,000 to your name, only $50,000, $50,000 is still a lot of money, but you're not gonna be able to qualify for a lot of franchises. So it's important to think about the money and start with aligning yourself with the franchise that makes sense. Now, on the other side, there are ways to get partners and investors or have someone sign the franchise agreement with you that does have a net worth where it's almost like they're co-signing. So that is a factor, um, something to consider, but make sure that you're really factoring in these financial aspects. I have all sorts of resources on my website, by the way, tarkjohnson.com slash blog, of what questions to, to ask and, and kind of how to navigate this process deeper. Make sure you subscribe uh, as well to the channel so that you can watch some of the other franchise videos that I've done. It'll answer all of your questions. All right, last but not least, in choosing a franchise, number five is purpose. Now this isn't the purpose that you think of. I'm not talking about like what's your purpose in life, some big esoteric thing. When I say purpose, I'm talking about what's your purpose with the vision? What's your intention? This is what we were talking about before, which is do you plan to just make money off of the franchise on a part-time basis? You're still gonna keep your job. Um, are you planning on opening up multiple locations and really trying to create a big empire and a multi-million dollar business? Are you just looking tr to try to replace your income and just have more flexibility and maybe you're just buying a job? Maybe you make you know, $70,000 a year at work and you figure that making $70,000 a year working for yourself and having more flexibility is ideal and you're not really focused on making more money um, or maybe you're just sick of, you know, answering to someone else. I, I know the feeling, but you gotta figure out what your purpose is for, for your business. And uh, do you wanna be in a business that you feel really connected to and passionate about? Or is it something that you just feel like, hey, this is a really uh, helpful service. I believe in it, people are gonna need it. It's gonna be a recession-proof type of service. As an example, there are all sort of mosquito franchises and uh, these are always very fascinating to me because I live in uh, Orlando, Florida. There are a ton of mosquitoes and I've got that blood type that mosquitoes just love. You and I can be standing right next to each other and um, I'll have gotten bit 12, 14 times and you're, you're like, I didn't get bit by any mosquitoes. Yeah, because they're all biting me. So in that case, although it wouldn't be a glamorous business to own one of these mosquito franchises, you, did you see the way I started scratching myself? It's like it got in my head. But in that case, man, I would believe in it. I would know that we're making a difference for a lot of people because I know the pain that comes with it. So think about what your purpose is for the business or the franchise and what it is you're looking to create or accomplish in your life and that'll help to drive your other decisions. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, drop me a comment below and uh, tell me what, what are the components that are important to you in considering a franchise business? And, and maybe tell me where you are in the franchise journey. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, it loves it. And then make sure to go to my website, tarkjohnson.com to grab my seven step blueprint to business profits in 60 days. I'll see you on the next one.